Hey everyone, Wax Weirdo here, and I have a haul from Homeworks. I ordered off QVC. I did um, also get some Valerie Parr Hill accessories that I want to share with you as well. I'll go ahead and just start with those. I got these adorable peppermint little lights. I didn't put batteries in all of them, but I did put in one. It's a little trio. They had different colors, like a green and kind of like a blue. It does take AA batteries and it does have a timer. And it's actually a pretty bright light, so I'm impressed by that. Well, I mean, it should if it's taking two AA batteries, right? Super cute. What a lovely, cute little idea. Oh, let's just get you guys out of the way. Then I saw somebody post on a candle group these adorable um, hurricanes, and I just had to have some myself. And these are on sale from Valerie Park Hill. And this is kind of a blue, and it's kind of, um, I don't know, more, not turquoise or aqua necessarily, but it's like a mixture between blue and, and turquoise color. So gorgeous. And that comes in two, a set of two. And my decor, just for usual non-holiday time, is shades of blue. So I thought this was going to be perfect for um, upstairs or in here because I'm obsessed with the color blue. Okay, then I got the quad of candles that came out like for the bakery, you know. Yeah, I would say bakery type gourmand candles and let's just start with this one and look at this packaging I love the lid so pretty love the packaging so cute this is like a tan brown color and this is maple rum strudel and the scent notes Ah, uh, drizzled maple, brown sugar, candied pecans, and dark rum. Mm. I'm like not a huge maple person, so I was kind of scared, but you know, you have to buy the whole quad. Oh, but this is lovely. Mm-hmm. And it is a three wick. And these are huge. Mm. I surprisingly got kind of a little bit of a cinnamon spice note in here, even though it doesn't say that. It might be part of maybe the candied pecans. I definitely get the pecans. A beautiful nutty note, almost like a pecan pie, but without the pie crust. And I am kind of getting a darkness from the rum and a slight sweetness from that syrup. That is lovely. Mm -hmm. Almost a bit of caramel and maybe again that's from the candied pecans. Really good. That's actually surprising. I mean it's kind of what I would imagine it to be like. I wish, I mean it's called maple rum strudel. I wish there was like that strudel type fragrance in there that would be awesome add a little bit more gourmandiness to it bakeriness to it but strudel's hard i've never really actually smelled um strudel like just on its own that is smells like actual strudel <laughs> okay moving on from the strudel okay beautiful again it's that same type of packaging all of these are going to be like this this is sugared plum and blackberry. This was the one I was most curious about. And this is juicy blackberries, plum, sandalwood, and vanilla whipped cream. Let me take off all this stuff so I can get a good smell. It's kind of, it's very light. I am getting beautiful plum and blackberries and they're not, they're smelling tart 
and tangy, not floral. So that's good. Yeah, I think I do get, and maybe a hint of the sandalwood. Maybe this will be a little bit more um, pronounced when it's melting. There is a likeness to berry trifle. If you are um, in the know and burned berry trifle before, it's almost kind of like that same berry, but of course with the sandalwood and the plum, it's this is different, but that's this to me, I'm getting that same kind of berry note and I love me some berry trifle. So this will be interesting. I, It's hard to smell as much because it is so light on cold. Yeah, but I am getting those beautiful notes. Hmm. Well, okay. I like it. I just hope he performs better than the cold with. Okay, then we have some Bordeaux fig and wild raspberry. This is Bordeaux fig, wild raspberry, white woods, and vetiver. How do you say that? Vetiver, vetiver? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, okay. I smell you, Bordeaux fig and wild raspberry. Mmm. I'm definitely getting a wine aspect, like a raspberry wine with a hint of woodiness, like it been uh, sitting and fermenting in an oak barrel type, you know, like cask. Ooh. Mm-hmm. And the fig, you know, fig can be kind of floral. I'm not getting that, I'm getting Definitely woody, but like light wood. Um, not quite cedar wood, but kind of in that light family. Definitely raspberry jam and a beautiful wine fragrance. I'm into this. Mm-hmm. Come to mom. And lastly, part of the cute little quad is toasted vanilla cupcake. And I think... I already have this one. I might already have this one from the little duo that they've offered before, but I can't remember. I might have bir I might just have birthday cake and like the spun sugar one they had actually. Okay, so this is vanilla, caramel, sugar, cream, and vanilla bean. Oh, okay. This is lovely. I'm not getting too much of a toasted vibe. I'm getting more of a salty caramel vibe with cupcake. I would say this is more of a salty vanilla cupcake and it's not an offensive caramel or salty caramel cupcake. Did I say salty vanilla? But I, there is vanilla in here though, for sure. Yeah, this is really nice. And it is, there's kind of a buttery and creamy note, and definitely a cake note, and a beautiful caramel, almost rum, but not wax rum, because sometimes that can be a little offensive. It's almost like a cooked rum, like if you were to put rum in something and bake it or have it be bubbly with some sort of deliciousness on the stove top. Okay, like if you put ramen brittle or something. Okay, we're done. That's it, just a little one. Did you guys get this collection? Did you get the other collection? I know there was another quad, but it was probably fresh or floral or too woody for me. And so I didn't pick that one up, but if you did, let me know how you like it.